run. Okay, this horse is probably been six or so weeks since we last trimmed her. And we've got a bit of a brush bust out on the outside here. A fair bit of growth. Looks a bit rough. I see this foot is still in balance actually. Yeah, just a little bit too much height on that side, but pretty good. First place I start, Snickers is on the frog. It's cleaning up. You notice I'm taking quite a bit of frog here, but to open it up to summer, there's a lot of bacteria in there. We've got to keep these commissures open each side of the frog, or else we're going to risk the a frog invasion. So yeah, the frog's this bit here, this softy piece in the middle. And this bit down the centre is called the central sulcus. And these are the commissures. And these are the bars. Let's clean up the bars a little. Not take too much. And you'll see the foot develop, come into shape. At the moment, all I'm taking is just rough wall uh, sole that's just going to exfoliate anyway. So, not taking Lysol, just a bit of the depth just to see where I am. So I'm starting to build a picture of uniformity. I'm judging the height of the heels. You can check the balance. Next job. Take the leg on there. Start nipping. Start on the outside here. A little bit more from there. Who's gonna start cutting on the deeper side? Ooh, baby. I'm not trying to go mad and cut too much depth off these horses but we've got to get them back to solid connection and a well connected foot gives a good balanced foot so now you can see we're starting to see what we call the white line Let's just clean that up a bit more See the raft is a sweeping action over the foot one way. Now we have foot cleaned up. You start seeing the symmetry. This, what they call the white line here, which is not white, in fact it's yellow. Um, this is a shadow of the coffin bone underneath the foot. And when you read feet, when you trim feet, you have to understand where the bone is and how this symmetry, like a dropping a pebble into a pool, how the symmetry grows out from there. Because obviously this around here is not symmetrical. It's what we call a flare and a wall separation here. Let's use my brush. Clean that out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see how much separation we have. That like cleaned up. Okay, there's my bars, Just trying to even up my bar height. See the angle of this bar is different to this angle. And this heel is more upright and this is more down. This foot lands more on this side. And with this collapsed area here, it's led to more distortion. What we're going to try and do is rebuild the symmetry in this foot. And get the foot back into even loading around the bone and address this issue. So at this point, I'll just double check the balance. Let's come down, a couple of extra whips. Okay, a bit more there. Now I'll take the foot forward. Come on, baby. Come on. The only time I rarely come down on the wall and take any depth on the side of the wall is when I have a flare like this. And then I always come in and regain symmetry. I'm looking for my quarters, my toe quarter, my widest point, my symmetry down into the this, the medial heel, the inner heel, and this, the outer heel, the lateral heel. 
So I'm looking for symmetry. You can see this foot sweeps a little bit in on this side. There's a little straight on this side. What's causing that is basically the leg core conformation that we had a flare on this side. So symmetry, symmetry, symmetry. It's shape, shape, shape. Fit, fit, fit. And just roll that. Toe distance, length, very important for breakover. Gonna keep the feet nice and tight. So now I'm coming back under the foot. I'm just gonna roll around. Make sure I've got everything nice and symmetrical. Everything's nice, smoothly rolled in. I've taken just enough off the frog. That clean trim there. I've not overpaired the bars. And last thing I do is remove a little bit of sole at the toe, just a tiny fraction of that callus, so that we don't have any sole pressure. Basically, trimming is about having even blood perfusion around the foot. You're setting that foot up to allow blood perfusion. Blood perfusion is growth. Even blood perfusion gives symmetry, balance, and a proper collected foot. And that's what we aim to achieve. So we can't achieve perfection on every trim, but we can aim for it. And that's what we do.